baby chicks need a safe, warm place to spend their first couple of weeks, usually in the house, in a laundry room or mud room or somewhere out of the way where they're not going to be seeing a lot of foot traffic and where pets and kids won't bother them. You can use a cardboard box or a plastic tote like I've used here, a puppy playpen, just something that's going to keep them safe. You want to put something over the top of it, so I have a piece of wire that I put over the top of it so our cat mostly won't get in. They also need heat for the first couple weeks because they don't have feathers. So a heat lamp with a clamp and either a white bulb or a red bulb. Red bulbs are better because they don't cause the chicks to get aggressive and they're a little bit warmer, but you can use a white bulb during the day and then the red bulb at night. You're going to want to have a way to be able to raise and lower the heat lamp. So right now, the baby chicks are just a couple days old, so they need the lamp really low, but as they get older, I'll need to be able to raise it because they won't need quite as much heat. So you want to use a ray candle or a broom handle and clamp the light to it so you can raise and lower it. Inside their box, the plastic is slippery. It's hard for them to get a grip on it. It can lead to a condition called spraddle leg. And newspapers also can be slippery when they get wet. So I like to use a few layers of newspapers on the bottom of the brooder. And then I cover it with this rubber shelf liner. So it gives the chicks something nice to grip onto. And the nice thing about this is the shelf liner can just be hosed off and you can let it dry, put down new newspaper. I usually cut two pieces of the shelf liner so I can put one in while the other one's drying. And that makes a really nice base for the brooder so the chicks don't slip. After a couple days, you can add some shavings to the bottom of the brooder, but I find them incredibly dusty. Um, so I stopped using them a couple years ago and instead I just like to put clumps of dirt and grass in the brooder. The chicks love going through the grass and the dirt looking for bugs. The dirt does absorb a little bit of the moisture. And when you need to change your brooder, you can just throw it all back outside. They also like to nibble on the grass and the dirt gives them the grit that they need to help digest their food. If they're, you're giving them anything other than chick feed, they do need grit, small pebbles or stones to help them digest it since they don't have teeth. Chicks need water. Uh, when they're this small, the first six or eight weeks when they're in the house, I do make sure that they have food and water 24 seven. And the water should be room temperature. You can add a little bit of sugar or honey to it for the first couple days to give them a little more energy. And it's important to put some small stones in the water. For the first couple days, chicks are very top heavy and they can actually fall asleep and topple over head first into the water. So you don't want them to drown. So I just put the stones in. Another advantage of the stones is that they're shiny and it actually attracts the chicks and encourages them to drink. Chicks also need feed. They should eat a chick starter feed for the first eight weeks. You can use medicated or unmedicated feed. I choose to use the unmedicated feed. Um, what the medicated feed does is it helps protect them from coccidiosis until their immune systems have built up enough that they can keep themselves safe. But by bringing in the dirt and the grass, I'm introducing some of the outside environment to them so it helps their immune systems grow strong and grow a little faster, develop a little faster than they would otherwise. So I do use the medicated, the unmedicated feed. So you want to refill the food and water as needed so they always have access. Um, another reason not to use the shavings is the shavings just always seem to be in the feed and the water. And this way with the shelf liner and the dirt, the food and water actually stays a lot cleaner. brooder should be cleaned as needed maybe every other day or so. You don't need it to be spotless. It's actually good to leave it for a bit because again it challenges the chick's immune systems by living in a not 100% sterile environment. So it's actually good for them. You can add more clumps of grass and dirt which is what I usually do each morning. Take out the ones that are a little bit trampled or dried up. 
as far as the heat, the chicks should basically be left at 95 degrees for the first week. And then you lower the temperature to 90 degrees the second week, 85 the third week, and so on. You don't need to have a thermometer in the brooder. You can just look at the chicks. They should all be running around, peeping, not huddled under the heat or not pressed in the far corners away from it. These are happy chicks at the right temperature. If they get cold, they're gonna start peeping really loudly. And if they're too hot, they'll start panting and holding their wings out from their bodies. But this is what you want happy chicks to look like. You can also add a little bit of apple cider vinegar to their water. I add a few drops every couple days, mostly to get them used to the taste. It's really good for their respiratory systems. I also add it to my adult chicken's water on occasion. And I try to limit the treats I give the chicks when they're this small. Maybe some raw oats, some scrambled eggs, the weeds and grass. That's about it. I try not to go crazy until they're outside. Once they're about eight weeks old, then I think about getting them outside during the day and they can have vegetable scraps or kitchen scraps or whatever. I do like to fill up a small container with some dirt also for them to use as a dust bath. I haven't done that yet, but I'll put it in one corner of the brooder. And even at a couple days old, you'll notice them taking dust baths. So it's really good practice. Putting a branch in here also as a perch helps them get used to sitting on a perch and helps their sense of balance. So that's why I set up my brooder. As you can see, I do have the traditional gravity waterer. They do have gravity feeders. I use these little espresso cups that I um, used epoxy to attach the cup to the saucer. And they seem to like them. They're a little bit cuter than the gravity feeders. So that's how to set up a baby chick brooder for the first eight weeks of their life.